Hello, everybody. Hope you are okay. Hope you are fine. Welcome to today's video. My name is Joshua, and I welcome you to today's topic on the best e learning platform to use. It is a beautiful day out here. It is nice and warm. It's just about one o'clock here. So welcome to a real academy where we talk about the things that matter the most and talk about mindset, what you believe, what you think, your feelings, how to get in touch, how to think better, to think positive, to think rich, to think healthy. Probably just to get you to think and then take action on your thoughts and feelings, which produces results which empower yourself and empower others because the people who are thinking and their results are disempower them or they cause them stress or failure or depression. So here we say, think big, think great, think positive, keep it up. Days are rainy, some days are sunny, some days are cold, some days are hot, but we keep on moving forward. That is life. It, give us, it gives us the four seasons. Now we're in spring, which is a new year, and then we have summer, then we're going to have autumn, then winter. So that is what we have. That's what we live by. So every day, it's not going to be the same, but it's how you react to the day. That's, how, that's why it makes it, that's how you make it positive, isn't it? Yes, some days you might be hungry, some days you might be rejected, some days you might feel down, but we say it all, we say gratitude, why? Because we learn that that is a learning lesson. Some things are not meant for us to always be in control. Sometimes we lose control, but how you how you always uh, react to the situation and you learn from the mistakes, that's what makes you who you are and makes you advance. That is what separates the people, those who are winning, those who are losing. That's how you react to events, how you use your time, because we all have the same seasons, the same time. Welcome to Real Academy again. It's a beautiful day. It is April the 8th, so the time is flying. We have been going through a lot, isn't it? So. Now it's in the fourth month of the year. So we got to eight months again, only out of the uh, 2000 and 21. Imagine that guys, imagine that. So we've been complaining about the pandemic and all that, but life still goes on, no matter what, life goes on, things change and move. And that is how it has been for the last, depends how long you believe life has only been out, millions of years, billions of years. I don't think the seasons have changed since the, life began or since the time began to be honest unless you're on some part of the country or some part of the world where there is not this kind of seasons it's just like in the, in the equator where it's hot or cold we don't know this is what we have and this is what we use for the best of it so now we're talking about e-learning why because everything i was shifting to e or online or digital or the cloud why because things have changed the systems before were not really effective why? Because many people are jobless, many people are not happy, many people are stressed out, many people had to go for a lot of processes to get certificates, licenses to do this, do that. People could not believe in themselves. People had to ask for permission just to be themselves, just to be happy, just to love yourself. But now that is all gone. You are free from that. It's like it is like it is going back to the beginning, whereby in the beginning things were great. Everything was online. We could think for ourselves. Everyone was independent. Now these people have been leeching, uh, pesting on others. That's the word, or poaching, depending on others to for their livelihoods, as in not in a positive way. I know there's something whereby your friends and family, yes, but people just don't want to think for themselves. Want others to pay for them. Want others to clean their houses, but well, but they do nothing. So now this pandemic has separated those who are working, those who are not, those who are serious and those who are just using the, well, covering themselves under their people or their church or their race. Now we know those who, we know those who are actually making an impact because those are the ones which help us go around. Because everything that is out there, your phones, your clothes is made by somebody who made an impact. That is why people always tend not to see, they complain about, oh, why are you rich? But the way the things what people, they use things which are made by somebody else, but they don't want to, to make things themselves. They don't want to be active. They say it's wrong, it's, it's bad, but they use others. Look in the house, they have TVs, they have cars, they have clothes, but they tell them let us work. No, that's not, it's bad. So now we realize who was who and what you're doing. So we here encourage others to come out of it. Even if we have been, you have been a part of it, you say, you know, you can change. If you were lazy before, we can change. The times whereby we change as we grow, it's more, can be maturity, can be experiences, but 
time comes when we must change because as we grow, we must leave some things behind in order to grow. And some hold on to the past because it gives them security, comfort, and it's just some just for revenge. But all in all, we want to let go of the past. We learn from the past and we look out for the future, isn't it? Learn from the past and we move on. Forgive and forget. You don't have to live with others. You can forgive them, but you want to move on and create your own life. So today I'm going to talk about the e-learning industry and the top e-learning platforms that you can use. So there are a number of those which have been around for a long time. You know, there are plenty of them. Long time ago, we used to have Allison and Udemy. So those are the main ones which were there before. I don't know if any others, edx.org as well. But now in the last couple of years, many have shot up because now everyone's online. So we got a plenty of courses or platforms which you can use for your e-learning. E-learning, e -learning, I mean, learning online or using a Kindle, using your laptop. No physical learning, basically. So you're learning online, like an email, e-learning, e, e, everything's e, electronic learning now. It's more using, not face-to-face, -face, but electronic learning. That's the E in the email, electronic mail, electronic learning, online courses, online learning, digital courses. So what's the kind of this, I'll say the similar ones, e-learning, because the online course is always in learning here, here the, you know, electronics to use your online course and your digital course. And that's another way, which I don't, we don't know about, but so I'm gonna share some of the courses which you can find on Google. So I'm gonna share two websites again, which give you the types of courses or the platforms that they think are the top. And then you can decide, or if you already have one, you can see whether you can change or you can add. Sometimes it's best to have, um, it's best to have at least two uh, presence on another platform. So you can have maybe one here, one there, three there, because each platform has its own uh, features, which will benefit certain types of courses and types of people. You also attract some kind of customers or clients. So it depends on who you want to attract. So maybe it's best to use one or use a few of them. That will be tied to your own discretion. But the first one is education, edu educatico. So educatico dot org. Yes, so this is the this is the the platform. It's called Educatico, such portal for online courses. This came out today. You never know until you do your research. So e-learning for companies, the top providers. So many online courses, only course providers have special offers for businesses. But who are the key providers of ready-made corporate e-learning? courses. So more and more companies are using external online courses to train their employees. This does not necessarily require their staff to click through dull presentation slides anymore. Today, various learning platforms are offer high quality courses based on modern video content and in-course interaction. Below, we represent an overview of the six most important e-learning providers for companies of all types, from medium size to large organizations. So the guide says, this guide, please note, this guide is intended for companies who want to use existing courses. In the areas of IT, business, and soft skills, there are already many good training courses available. Also, many firms report that video-based content is strongly favored by their staff. Several course platforms are providing training courses to organizations around the world. These around the world, these courses are mainly offered in English, with some other languages available. Providers often offer significant volume discount. The larger the number of employees, the better the prices that can be negotiated. The providers listed below offer standard course content. Well, this is suitable for many training objectives. You can get in touch here regarding individual content production. So that is just a note before we begin. So number one is Coursera. So this is the world's largest platform for online courses from universities and other institutions. Some courses have already exceeded 1 million enrolled learners. So if you're a company, for companies Coursera for business offers access to their professional learning portal. 
So the LMS integration learning management system integration is available upon request. You can compile courses for your employees, yourself, or with the help of Coursera experts. Your learning analytics tools can be used to evaluate the learning behavior based on data reports. So there are various pricing plans available for basic stroke team stroke enterprise, starting at approximately $100 per user per year for small businesses. For larger companies, individual agreements can be negotiated. Reference customers include L'Oreal, Philips, Infosystem, and Infosys and Pfizer. So this is one of the, as I said, the world's largest platform for online courses from universities and other institutions. So if you're looking for an online course, check there as well. Yeah, so that's that in Coursera and Google. Number two is EDX. EDX is well known for its high quality video courses from top US universities, such as Harvard and MIT. It is the only non-profit organization among the major course providers. With EDX for business, thousands of courses are accessible to corporate customers. Similar to Coursera, courses can be integrated with your own learning management system and in-depth learning analytics data is available. Price quotes need to be requested and negotiated individually. So EDX is, high, is known for its high quality video courses from mostly the top, top US universities and it is only none profit organization among the major course providers. Number three, FutureLearn, the most important European provider of online courses based in the United Kingdom. It is part of Open University, the largest distance learning university in Britain. So for those who don't know, so in the UK where we, I am, the largest distance learning university is the Open University. So for those who want to go to university, the one I mean, has to avoid going to face to face to apply for open university. But their corporate business is still in its infancy. Most customers are headquartered in their home market in England, such as a retail chain, Marks and Spencer, and prices need to be requested individually. I've used Switzerland before and EDX. I've used Coursera, but I use EDX for kind of courses. I've used it for financial. Maths for maths before and picture line is for mostly many courses, which are introduction courses. So I've used one for entrepreneurship and others a bit of yeah, entrepreneurship and others haven't made to finish some of them as well. But picture line is good because they're quite short and it's simple. Then two or three weeks you're done. EDX the whole EDX is a whole course. Sometimes you have to pay for the for the certificate, but it's very good to call the videos on them. Number four, Udemy. Interesting learning. Yes, I will drop my email address. Unlike the three course platforms mentioned above, content at Udemy does not come from universities, but from independent experts in their respective fields. The so learning and development departments will find the relevant content at Udemy for business. Here, companies can get access to the 2,500 most relevant training courses from the Udemy range. There are different pricing plans, team, enterprise, nonprofit. So from about $240 per user per year for companies up to 20 employees. So reference customers include Apple, PayPal, Volkswagen, and Adidas. So item is good, I visited before, why? Because there's a lot of courses on there. Most of them are free and they're very good. I visit me for, I tap in any course I want, some, and it's always there. The good thing, well, it's not a good thing, but the prices are quite, most of the prices are below $20 or 20 pounds. So that's the price range of Udemy courses. They're not very high. The other courses, you apply more, there's more. Future than they are free, unless you want to go into a new course. But Udemy, the price range is between, I mean, roughly between below $20. Most of them are below $20, which is a good price. And you can find most of the courses you want on there. And it's very good. So I've tried as well. Number five, Skillshare. Skillshare offers a large number of short, practical video lessons. It's often less than an hour long. It's not so much about lengthy educational courses, but more about instantly adding specific skills needed for day-to-day -day tasks. The world of Skillshare for teams, organizations can choose from over 15,000 short video lessons starting at $99 per user per year for small businesses. That is Skillshare. I haven't really used a course there, but I've 
access to the platform, but I haven't actually studied with them. So if you have, let me know. Number six is LinkedIn Learning. LinkedIn Learning evolved from Lynda.com and other predecessor platforms. It uses insights from its professional network about the skills that are in high demand among employers. So with LinkedIn Learning for companies, it provides learning content that is intended to close the skills gap between existing and required skills. Prices need to be agreed individually. So interested organizations can test the available functions with a free demo version for those who are on LinkedIn. I've used LinkedIn as well, but it's mostly for training. So their conclusion from Educatico is, existing video courses can be used for many standard learning objectives of employee training on the IT and business environment. In addition to providing the educational content, centrally admi administered data and analytics of employees' learning activities is also included in most enterprise packages. The large English language platforms, Coursera, ADX, and Co. may also be interesting for the more highly qualified staff of international companies. Many multinational organizations already use these training resources. The prices can vary greatly depending on the course provider and size of your company. Comparing and negotiating may pay off. If you would like to create your own individual course content, despite all existing courses, you can get in touch there. So Educato is a search portal for online courses. You can search over 8,000 plus online courses from more than 50 providers and 22 subject areas in their directory. This includes courses in the areas of business, IT, leadership, and soft skills. In a separate article, you have provided an overview of e-learning and its potential. So check out this website. It's very good for online courses, educatico.org. Let's go to today. So that is one of the sites that talks about e-learning. Now we're talking about, it's mostly the business side because most of the companies now are training, but also if you are an individual like me, I've used, uh, I've used, the one I've used the most is uh, Udemy because sometimes I, there are many, I used to go for, look at ones I like, I go for the free course. I use uh, type in a course and then I would use the, use the free course to see what content they have, if it's good and I pay for it. I do a free course, see how good it is. If it's good, then I pay for another version of it. I used to go for the free course first, see what they add, see how good they were. And if it's better, then I'll pay for a course. Most of them are about $20. So Udemy is good for quick learning. Anything you learn quick, go to Udemy and type in there. And put there. What is for my hat? It's kind of getting on this side. You know, so Udemy is the best for quick courses. It's good. And the price is uh, quite low. So for those who want, who want to spend a quick buck, just test the waters, it's good. And, most an hour long and there. The thing is, so if you want, EDX, EDX is very good because it's most of my university courses. They're free again, but you might have to, if you want a certificate, you might pay like $49, 45 pounds, dollars was a year because most of the American universities. So that is amazing. I went to Coursera I'm trying before, I'd like to go to it, but I'm mostly on EDX and Udemy for the courses. So this website is called educatico.org. And it shall be in the link in the video on any Facebook page that you are in. So the next, I am going to talk about is the g2.com. g2.com is one of another site which talks about the online platforms that you can use. So you can also do your check on Google and you type in e-learning platforms, you can put it in there. And then you can have other platforms you can use. So now there's the more of them which are there. So that is one more that we can be able to use. Let's give me, let me load it up on the screen. So for those who want to quick courses, try Udemy. There is also feature learning is good because most of them are free, but they're startups to other courses. So if you want to go into another course, then they give you more give a snippet about how it's going to be and then they can tell you where to go so you can sign up for one of their courses at the university and then that's how you use uh future learn so it's based in the uk but also you can use uh the open learning university in britain it's one of the it's one of the big actually the largest in there 
So now, okay, here we are. I am in. I accept, I accept, I accept. Some of them are going to be repeated. So I've just mentioned the ones which are on here. But it's called g2.com categories, online courses. Here you can compare online course providers. You can have the rating on the side. We have language supported, pricing available, academic subjects, and much more. So the, we have, a, I think this is best by their scores. So they have a score here. So apparently LinkedIn Learning is the top for them. So here we have LinkedIn Learning, Plural Site Skills, HubSpot Academy, Udemy, Coursera, eCloud Guru, Udacity, CBT Nuggets, Khan Academy, InfoSec Skills. So for the given LinkedIn Learning, 4.4 out of five, Leading online platform helps organizations increase learner engagement and developing and develop the skills they need today and tomorrow. So they have over 16,000 courses taught by real world experts from lynda.com and more than 50 new courses added every week. The library is always up to date with the most in-demand business, technical and creative content. They're traveling on insights from the 600 plus million members, million LinkedIn members. This is plural site skills. What is plural site? As your industry and business model evolves, you need a learning solution that helps you deliver key innovations on time and on budget. So this platform can evaluate the technical abilities of your teams, align learning to key business objectives and close skills gaps in critical areas like cloud, design, security, mobile, and data. So that is a plural, plural site skills. Is the HubSquad Academy. It's the worldwide leader in inbound marketing. Inbound marketing, we've got sales, we've got content management and customer service management education. So since 2012, HubSquad Academy has been on a mission to transform the way people and companies grow, offering online training for the digital age. So there's a courses, projects, certifications, and software training. Now, um, Sports Academy's inbound certification has become the official badge of the inbound movement with over 112,000 awarded annually. Look at that, that's amazing. Udemy, talk about Udemy. So Udemy for business helps companies to stay competitive in today's rapidly changing workplace. It offers fresh on-demand learning content through a powerful content marketplace. I will talk about Udemy before, so, but says our mission at Udemy is to help employees do whatever comes next, whether that's the next project to tackle, skill to learn or role to master. Talk about Coursera, provides universal access to the world's best education, partnering with top universities and organizations to offer courses for anyone to take for free. A Cloud Guru is the leader in cloud learning and has helped 2 million people and more than 4,000 organizations level up their cloud skills. It was founded in 2015 by brothers Sam and Ryan Krunenberg. ACG began as one cloud certification course that and has grown into the world's most effective stroke hands-on stroke and comprehensive skills development platform for cloud learning. SCG helps novices, gurus, and everyone in between advance their career in the cloud to prep for certification exams and much more. Hmm, never heard of them, so that's something for me. Udacity or Udacity. At Udacity or Udacity, people can advance their careers by learning the latest skills in cloud computing, artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning, web development, data science, programming, and more through a wide variety of industry specific nano degree programs which are recognized by hiring managers throughout the world. Udacity offers value added services such as mentorship, expert instructors, portfolio and resume reviews, career coaching, time management tools, and more. So those who check it out, Udacity. CBT Nuggets. Learning IT doesn't have to mean boring lectures, the frantic pace of boot camps, or lots of time away from your job or family. With CBT Nuggets, you can train 24-7 anywhere on a variety of devices. 
from the comfort of your office chair or living room couch. Our world-class team of trainers are industry experts who enjoy teaching people IT. Their training is informative, relevant, and engaging. And because most videos are 10 minutes or less, it's easier to retain information and we'll move on that. Khan Academy, it offers practical exercises, instructional videos, and a personalized learning dashboard that empower learners to study at their own pace in and outside of the classroom. We've got InfoSec Skills. This is the only cybersecurity training platform that moves as fast as you do. Oh, I'm convinced. Train on your schedule or schedule with unlimited access to hundreds of hands-on cybersecurity courses and hands-on virtual labs or upgrade to an InfoSec skills bootcamp for live instructor-led training guaranteed to get you certified on your first attempt. Whether you are seeking training or for yourself or your team, InfoSec's deep bench of cybersecurity expertise and award-winning training platform provide the resources and guidance and much more. Oh, definitely look them up. I need cyber security training. IT Pro TV. This ditch the boring slideshows and start really learning IT with IT Pro TV. With training that's more like a talk show. You watch your edutainer engage with a host and an online audience to create a better than classroom experience that you and your team will look for to to watching. So there's new content added every day and the course library has more than 5,800 hours covering all of the major certification courses. So those ones from to IT, check it out. Cloud Academy is next. This is leading enterprise digital skills development platform, accelerating innovation through guided learning paths. The hands-on labs and skill assessment the companies trust Cloud Academy to deliver role specific training on leading clouds, such as AWS, as your Google Cloud platform. So these essential methodologies needed to operate on and between clouds, as in DevOps, go security. And these are other capabilities that are unlocked by the cloud. So let's speak at machine learning and much more. So I won't go for all of them, but you can check them out. There's INE, it's a provider of technical training, has been at the forefront of on-demand learning for nearly two decades. Oh, wow. And revolutionized access to expert level exam certification preparation. It's a trusted partner for Fortune 500 companies worldwide. Go skills, have to learn essential business skills to achieve your full potential. So anyone who wants to learn business skills to reach their personal and professional goals, goskills.com. Code Academy is a team of hackers working hard to build a better way for anyone to teach and learn how to code. The General Assembly is an online educational tool that teaches website development and design through interactive courses. ADX, talked about it before, offers interactive online classes and MOCs, MOCs and from the world's best universities, colleges and organizations. One Horn Blockchains is a professional and trusted provider of enterprise blockchain research and training. So our mission is to train leading enterprise professionals to become global blockchain experts. No one knew how to them. I'm going to give them a look in the bars. Open Sesame. We help develop the world's most productive and admired workforces. The most comprehensive catalog of e-learning courses from the world's top publishers. Base test out, provides industry leading IT certification training. CXL teaches you advanced level skills in customer acquisition, analytics and conversion optimization. Skillsoft, founded in 1988, 1998, Skillsoft has grown rapidly to become the global leader in, cooperative, in corporate learning. Econel developed the delivers online professional certificate courses to individuals and organizations. Service Skills is a curated collection of online learning courses which empower your staff to improve customer satisfaction, satisfaction, enhance teamwork, boost workplace respect and manage more effectively. Plan Academy is an online training platform built for construction project 
control professionals with on-demand courses on project controls, planning and scheduling software, delay analysis and project management for heavy industries. Cybrary is a free and crowded course cybersecurity and IT learning platform. I've heard of these, I'll give it a go. Canvas Network offers open online courses taught by educators everywhere. It is a, the Canvas Network is a, provides a place and platform where teachers, students and institutions worldwide can connect and chart their own course for personal growth, professional development and academic inquiry. DataQuest, you learn data science in your browser using Python, Iron Mo, simply sign up for free and start learning today at DataQuest.io. Oh, just in learning data science, amazing. Oracle University is a training and certification arm of Oracle. So maximize your Oracle technology, investment and career with quality training and certification from the source. Data Comp, you're collecting more data for ever before, but you do not have the skills to collect and analyze, analyze that data efficiently. So I give your teams the 21st century skills they need to work with data in the real world. So that account for business is the online planning platform that gives you the power to upskill everyone on your team and much more. Check out the whole list. There are plenty of them. I'm not going to go through all of them. But here we have a little graph. We have the contenders. Contenders there. We have leaders on that side. So you can see who the, who the leaders are in more the the learning, then we have the contenders there. So on the side, you can have company size. So this is a good graph, shows everyone together. You can see where you are, see where you want to be, and you can just decide from there. So going to say what are online learning course providers. I'll just say these are provide deliver educational course content to students across a wide range of subjects from academic subjects. Well, like physics to technical areas like web development. That is the basic definition of uh, on course providers. Benefits are they expand employee skills, boost worker productivity, increase employee engagement, create new career pathways. It's mostly for employees, but if you're individual, this helps you because it's more convenient, it's less to pay sometimes. It, you retain more from yesterday's video. Check out the last video, yesterday's video, talk about the benefit of e-learning. So this will give you more on the topic. For the kind of online course providers, we have technical fields, digital marketing, academic subjects, business management. We have also career skills and personal well-being. So just to highlight it, I'm thinking about. I've got technical fields, that's the IT management, coding, artificial intelligence, web development, data science, and security. For digital marketing, social media strategy, content marketing, traffic optimization, email marketing, and inbound marketing with academic subjects, math, literature, design, architecture, robotics, engineering, chemistry, history, music, and economics, business management, leadership, finance, entrepreneurship, negotiation, emotional intelligence, and project management. Career skills and personal well being, but public speaking, writing, productivity, exercise, nutrition, and time management. So, those are kinds of online course providers which are there if it helps. So, some of the features are they have a library function that allows users to browse different courses. So, some of most of the courses are grouped into paths. So, most courses are with several courses about the same topic bounded together. Users have the ability to create a customized learning path based on their interest and desired skill is the best, based on what you want. That's how they're grouped. You have to do that. Another thing is they have mobile apps. So most people now using mobile, everything now is getting mobile friendly. Most people spend a time on mobile. So most of them have apps which can continue learning if you're on the go. So if you're in the train, if you're in the bus, if you're out in the park, you can be studying. You don't have to be in class anymore. Yes, you know, I'm saying, I'm saying it's bad, but we all now, because you're free to learn on the go. So that's the best part I think is the mobile apps because it helps us travel. You can work outside, you can work as long as you have a connection or you have some good there, you can work there, whatever you want. So that's amazing, isn't it? So you can learn on the go. That is the best part, in my opinion, for me. 
We also skill assessments because we've got quizzes now. Not before we used to do one at the end of the year or every month, but now they, we have a better relationship because they can give you a course, a quiz after every section. So it keeps you updated and you don't have to wait for a long time or to just be based just by one exam. That's on analytics. The good thing is video because video is, uh, I'll take one before. Analytics, most online course providers for businesses have a way of tracking new employees. So those who will have the courses, that's how it's best for you. If you're a course provider, then analytics is good for you. If you're just a student, then I don't think you really know much analytics, unless you wanna see how many people have passed the course, testimonials maybe, how well the course is, uh, is, is doing, maybe you can check it out. So video is key because a growing number of online courses offer videos as a key element of the course content in an effort to make the course more engaging. Why? Because video can play it back again, you know? You can play it back again. Sometimes we learn more by seeing somebody just talking. During class time, you could see them once and they're gone, well recorded, but now because it is recorded, you can come back to it. Sometimes it's better to see another human relation, another human face. So that social essence element is there because somebody's speaking and they're telling you the experience. So you can relate more to somebody speaking in the video. Or you can pause, you can rewind, you can forward, you have the control. Other are project certifications, which we had before in other courses. So as proof of the passing, you can get a certification for it. Some of them are free, some you have to pay for them to, to to um, deliver to your home, but some of them are free, depending on what you've taken. So these are trends which are related to online course providers. That's an importance of certifications, social learning and video-based instruction. So all those are trends which are now getting popular because now everyone's online. So you're gonna stand out and see, oh yeah, what am I doing different from others now? Because now almost everyone who's teaching is online. So you gotta do a good extra journey, go the extra mile and see, what can I do to stand out? People can see that I'm giving, what's my UPS, my unique, my USP, goodness me, my unique selling point. You have to structure and what is your positioning in the market? As usual, there are potential issues with online course providers that could be missing real world application where you missed the part where you get out. That's, yeah, you know, that's something you missed out. That's when you have to work it for yourself, work to you get out there just to fill it in. I think it's the same to be honest, because once we, when we were in class, we used to miss the out. That's, that's, I think that's human nature. When we were in class, we used to miss, oh, I'm missing out. I'm missing a party. I'm missing uh, going out for a walk because we used to be in class and the sun was out and nice. I remember being in university when we used to do the exams. I was studying for the exam. I could look at people playing, having fun, buzz chopping. I mean, the books, it felt so bad. So I think when you have something we missed in the past, that's, I don't think that's really a big issue because when people were in those, they went to go out. People are telling, oh, I'm tired of going to class. I'm tired of traveling to her. Now it's gone. No, I want to go to class now. So I think it's more of just an immediate need. It's not really a big issue to my opinion because people miss what they don't have. Once they have it, they'll miss what they have. So when you're in class, we used to miss going out. We used to miss class just to go out and have the fun. But now you, you have to have the fun. Like now so I'm missing the class. So it's just a uh, play of emotions if you ask me to be honest. But yes, some people miss that interaction. That's how they thrive of it. So I wouldn't lie, some people do miss it. So, so you have to take, so make sure you take yourself out. Make sure you go out and exercise. Talk to, like, depending where you are, don't break the rules for lockdown, but make sure you, you go out for exercise. You can talk to somebody on the side, take a high. So make sure you get, up, get apart because you have to push yourself for that. Another thing is lack of standardization for certifications. That is true. There's no standards now. People can just create their own standards of certifications. Sometimes it might not be recognized. So I would say make sure your, your certifications are have a, like a CPD or are recognized by an organization which gives certifications. Because not as anybody can put your own certification there and say, yep, you've passed your course. When you go there, it's not recognized. I have seen some certifications which are just a piece of paper and you name on it with a nice, some fancy word and you're like, wow. But go somewhere, people are like, yes, just paper. Yeah, I'm not before your walls, but just try and make sure that it has uh, some credible organization on the on a, on a certificate like uh, in the uk we use a cpd continuous professional development they you pay a certain fee and they give you a certain course and they uh, provide you some certification for that so make sure if you're a student make sure the, if you want a certificate make sure that the course you're studying has someone which is credit for, credible or it has been accredited by a certain known body which accredits accredits, accredits courses in this particular country 
because everybody can make a certificate and give it to you, but you want something which is credible. So when you go somewhere, people can say, hey, just, you know what I mean? So get something which is credible on your certificate. Like some of them give you the seals to use, make sure it's on there. It's better for you on, so you don't say you wasted money and there's no point of that. So I'll leave it for there now, but those are the kind of courses online. And now we also have Thinkific, which I use. Now there's one called Kajabi as well. And the others which, have, which are new now. So this might be on here, might be additional, but now there are plenty more courses to read, which, can, which you can use and analyze for yourself. So those are the course providers, which people are using for a long time. So next time we'll talk about Thinkific and yeah, we'll talk about Thinkific next time. There's also one called Masterclass. So there's a lot of information and courses now available for you just being at home. Before you had to apply for so many things, you had to apply for so many, this parking, then you had to get a train, then you had to go and get this, but now we're just all online. One, three, four, are you, are you accessible? Yes, they call you, good, go start tomorrow. Simple, it is so much easier. I like it better. It is so much easier to start a course because everything's online and it's efficient. They give you a call, they analyze your details. You have a platform, you go there, simple. So obviously you have to go out for a walk. So if you, don't, if you miss people, you have to go out for a walk or go out to work in the park. If not, you can walk in the, or can you can study on the outside. If you have a mobile phone or a laptop, just go outside study in the park. It is amazing for me. It is absolutely good. For those who are missing the face-to-face, -face, try go out, go for a walk. So people can, you know, now if you can meet somebody, another household, go with them. Or you can have a bubble. In the UK, we have bubbles where people can meet and use those. Both sides have to, you have to you have to put in a bit of effort. But before we used to be in class the whole day, we used to miss going out. Now we are we're not we're home. We want to go back in. So it's a similar nature whereby we miss what we don't have. So don't let that be your reason for saying I, I miss because I miss that. Because when most people are there, they just complain, oh I miss my party, I miss going home. Are you home? Oh I miss class. But class, oh I miss lockdown. So things were just people miss stuff, but let us move on and use that. You think of the positive thinking and say, what can I gain from the E-learning courses, isn't it? E-learning all the way, that is great. So think about it now. Now you have a chance to learn. You have a chance to apply for your course, which if you're in the other country, you have to apply for a visa plus airline plus accommodation, it's all cut off. It's all gone. The visa, the airline ticket, the accommodation is gone. You can do it from your comfort of your home. All you got to pay now is just the fees to the course. And guess what? Most of them have been waived or some of them have been discounted. So it is a lot easier for people to study more. I am so happy because many people in the world were, was, were not very literate and sometimes had to, most of the great uh, educational organizations were in the West or in America and the UK. They had to travel from all the way from India, from Africa, but now they don't have to travel, they don't have to. Some people now have access, as long as they have access to internet, they can study from wherever they were in the village and area, that is beautiful. Goodness me, that system was, you know, people had to apply to get a visa, from Africa, I remember how to apply a visa, then you apply for a plane ticket, then you apply for accommodation, just to go to study at the university before. Plus also the international fees, that was a lot. That was amazing, that was a lot. I'm gonna pay a lot just to come study in the UK, but now, whether you're in Africa or in India, or in the rural village you are, what you gonna do is get an internet connection. If you can pay for the fees, that's good. Get the internet and study from there, now we, it's better, the world's connecting. We're coming out of the age whereby we need physical permission. Now we just get online and study. For me, that is the best, most biggest, amazing benefit. Anyone in the world with an internet connection and a device can start learning. Why learning is education? It, learning is important. Education helps you think, helps you process your thoughts. You become morally better, spiritually better. You learn how to think for yourself, how to apply what you've learned into that. And now with all Elon earning, you can choose what benefits you before you have to do A, B, C, D. That's it, doesn't care if it's relevant. Now you can choose what is relevant for you and study in your own convenient time, especially those in the village because people used to do the work and now they can study when they want and go back to their village life. It is uh, amazing. So take advantage, I say, take advantage. Don't make any, don't say, oh, I haven't got a laptop. Get a laptop, you have to do your part as well. Get on a device, get a mobile device, get a laptop get internet, because the money you're going, you're going to use to pay for transport and, and um, combination on food, you can use that money to pay for a laptop, that's it, all internet. 
Yes, so the money you wanted, if you wanted to study from far, the money you wanted to use to pay for the transport, for the air ticket, I'm sure that money can be used to get you a very good laptop and an internet connection for one year or two more years. The money you're going to use to pay to travel just to get to somewhere you're going to use it now to get to invest in a device which you can use to study now. And if you don't, now we know people are making excuses because now the money you can use it to that and you can get that, you can study it online. But once you get your laptop and your portal and your connection, access the internet and go for it, isn't it? So all in all, don't take too long. Have a great day. So remember, check out the links. I'll put them on the page under the video. Check them out, or you can just type online the top e-learning platforms on Google or Bing or Yahoo and check out your own list. But all in all, the benefit is that there are many courses out there you can study now. And for those who are who have who had quite a lot of uh, stumbling blocks, such as country, internet, yet no visa, no transport, I couldn't travel if you're disabled. So now that is out. So now you're free to study from uncomfortably home. If you have a laptop, good. If you don't have now, you can use that money to invest in a device and it's good, stable internet connection and you're good to go. You are so good to go. People now also giving, some people are giving funds for devices. So people can, if you have a device, look for funding or look for somebody who can help you with a device. That is if you're serious about studying. Let's use it for fun. So, and then you get it on. The world is changing and the, world's who, the ones who take advantage are the ones who win. And we here are winners. Why we keep on advancing? We keep on we following trends. We have a stick to our values, but we follow the trends, so we keep on moving forward. Because as life gets bigger, more is awarded, more knowledge comes in, knowledge is revealed. So you keep on upgrading yourself. You learn better. Oh, that's wrong now. That's not relevant anymore. This is more relevant. I need this to go to here. I need to get rid of this. I need to add in this. I'm here now. What I need here? Is this working? No. Put it behind. Get on which works. And that's how you move on. That's how you increase by letting go and adding in. To fill, to fill a cup of water, you must empty it first and fill in again. That's how we do. We don't just stay one cup of water the whole day. You must drink the cup of water and fill it again. It's like food and water. You must drink it, when it's empty, you fill it again. That's how we go. So take advantage of this situation where you are, of all these platforms. Some of them are free, some are paying for. And study and get the skills you want. For those who are in digital age, the data analysis, cybersecurity, coding, those are hot topics now. Cybersecurity fraud, cyber crime, people are looking for data analysis and data science, IT technicians, social media, digital marketing, face ads on Facebook, YouTube, how to start a YouTube channel. All these things now are popular. Instagram marketing, all these are hot topics because everyone's on there now. So that's where most of the customers are. So if you learn and become a, a pro or guru at that part, you'll be ahead of the game. But right, thanks again, and we shall see you again tomorrow for another video on uh, e-learning, isn't it? So we can get to know what e-learning is, isn't it? Look after yourself and take care.